हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज योगेश मुरबकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कर्सर्स सो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट राइट अप एल स्किल ब्लॉक टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ कर्सर्स सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कर्सर्स इन शॉर्ट सो एट द एंड वी विल सी वन एग्जाम्पल वी विल क्रिएट अ प्रोसीजर विच विल बी यूजिंग कर्सर सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ वॉट डू इंड द कर्सर सो वॉट आर कर्सर्स अ कर्सर इज अ टेम्पररी वर्क एरिया क्रिएटेड इन द सिस्टम मेमरी when a sql statement is executed so it is a temporary work area a cursor contains information on a select statement and the rows of data accessed by it this temporary work area is used to store the data retrieved from database and manipulate this data a cursor can hold more than one row but can process only one row at a time the set of rows the cursor holds is called as active set so this is what is important okay so i am not going to type the code to write down the procedure and the cursor i have already written it i will just copy paste it and i will show you the execution of the cursor so the main motive of talking about the cursor here is to just clear about uh, be clear about the concept of cursor so i am going to share the same document with you people so moving forward uh, there are two types of cursors implicit cursor and explicit cursor so implicit cursors are the cursors Uh, which are created when the dml statements like insert update and delete these are executed they are also created when a select statement that returns just one row is executed an explicit cursor explicit cursors must be created when we are executing a select statement that returns more than one row even though the cursors store multiple records only one record can be processed at a time which is called as current row so you can read this uh, what i will do is I will directly try to move to the example. Okay, so these are the applications of uh, implicit cursor. Then there are different keywords which will be used like uh, found, not found, row count, and is open like this. So the attributes are given, the return values, and the example, the details are given in this document. You can download the document uh, which is given below. So this is the example. I will explain you this example. i am not going to type it i am just going to copy paste it so that that might save the time actually <coughs> so just i have actually i have already connected to the mysql database so i am going to paste it here so it is saying very okay so that particular procedure is created now i want to uh, now what this particular uh, procedure is doing so let us see create procedure then procedure name is proc underscore in This is index create procedure procedure name. Then begin. So uh, it is having four sections. The first one is declaration section. So this is the declaration section. Then the cursor. Whenever we write down the cursor, it is having four sections. The first one is declaration section. That is the uh, variables which we are going to use. Those will be declared here. The second one is opening the cursor. Then the next third one is fetching the cursor. and the last one is closing the cursor so these are the four sections which are divided so first create procedure procedure name begin then v underscore e name v underscore salary v underscore finished and declare c1 cursor this is the declaration it is done so these are the variables which we are going to use v underscore e name and v underscore salary for employee name and salary respectively Now v underscore finish the integer the default value is zero it is a uh, type integer then we are declaring the cursor here declare c1 cursor for select e name comma sal from emt so this is our sql statement select e name comma sal from emt so i am having employee name and salary columns in emt table so you can see the contents of employee table select star from emt is delimiter is all right over so now what do you mean by delimiter delimiter is working as a separator earlier my delimiter was uh, semicolon i have written this particular command delimiter dollar dollar it means what my procedure is going to be uh, um, my procedure is going to end with dollar dollar so unless and until i don't type dollar dollar it is not going to end so that is nothing but delimiter okay so i have employee name And then salary. These are the columns from EMT. Okay. So what this cursor is doing? This is de declared. Now declare C1 cursor. So it is having employee name and salary. 
Now declare continue handler for not found. So this is the keyword we are using. If it is not found, set v underscore finished is equal to one. Now we are going to open that cursor. We are going to declare a loop here. Get underscore emp loop. Now fetch. This is the fetching part. Now fetch c1. C1 is having what? Employee name and salary. So fetch c1. Employee name and salary into these variables. V underscore e name. V underscore salary. Now, if v underscore finished is equal to one, now what this v underscore finished is doing? It is a handler which is going to read each row of the table. Okay. So when finished, when when that reading is finished, it is going to be <coughs> when that reading is finished, it is going to be uh, one. As the default value is zero, so that default value will become one at the end row. Okay. So if v underscore finished is one, then leave get underscore empty. It is leave this particular loop. That is what stop fetching this c one into this variable. So the first value which will be assigned to v underscore e name will be this Smith, and the first value which will be assigned to v underscore salary will be this. Okay. So that's what the fetching is, and then this is what we are doing. Uh, Actual thing which we want to do by using this particular cursor is select. We are doing concatenation. We are using concat function. V underscore e name comma V underscore salary. So we want to con concatenate these two columns. So that's what we are actually doing. Uh, so like this, we can do different operations. So end that loop. V underscore e name and close the cursor and then end the procedure. So if I want to call that particular procedure, I can use Proc. That is procedure, and then the procedure name. The procedure name is proc underscore em. So proc underscore em. Let's call it. So it will display. It will actually give the output, which will be a concatenation of these two columns, e name and salary. So dollar dollar is being delimited. Just to me, actually, I have that particular command. I think it is wrong. Let me check it. Yeah, I have actually run it initially. Let me remind it. Yeah. Do not think, but do not think it's not proc. It's actually call. So that was my mistake. No problem. So it is call that particular procedure. Call and then procedure name. It will show the output. See it has concatenated. Concatenate v underscore name comma v underscore salary. So the concatenation is done for each. So this is what this particular procedure is doing. So that's all about cursors. You can download the document and it just the introduction of cursors. I am not. I have not discussed cursors in details. I have just uh, discussed very simple example. It might help some people. Thank you. Thank you very much.